All right, I'm in the uh, Mav Social dashboard, and I want to get into the digital library today and show you a few things on how to use uh, your images. And specifically, I'm going to upload an image and edit it a little bit and then post it. So this will take you through that process. But here's their digital library, and really Mav Social's uh, core function is to take care of all your digital assets and be a place where you can to manage your digital assets in one place and post them out to your social media. Very, very simple, but it's super powerful. So I thought I'd make this video to show you one specific idea or function of Mav Social. So here we have photos, images, video, and audio. I'm going to go over to the uploader and go and find a image that I just added here. So I'm going to hit the add files and I'm going to upload this video. Now when I bring this up, it's going to allow me to do a couple things here. I can click on this and I'm um, going to enter in a title for this, my video recording studio. I'll keep this real simple for now. I can add this, a tag to this, uh, nuclear chowder videos. I can add multiple tags to it if I want to, just ways I can keep track of it. Now when I'm ready, I'm just going to hit this or this here, same thing. So let's upload this. And you can see it's 1.72 megabytes and it's going and uploading it while I stall for time here. So now it should be in my library. So I'm going to go photo back to photo image library and there it is. Now, cool thing about what I really like about uh, Mav Social is all the little hidden and rich features. And you can see this is actually my little recording studio. I'm recording this video now here in front of this microphone. So as I click on this image and you can see my description, I, I have a little uh, photo editor here that I can use. So if you don't have Photoshop or a robust photo editor, you can actually use Mav Social a lot like, very similar in, in some ways to Instagram. Uh, and there is an Instagram function here, I believe. I was playing with that yesterday. I think this is their enhance. Nope, not that one. Maybe effects. Yeah, you can add these um, Instagram style effects. So I can change the look and feel here. I'm just going to keep it to original for now. I'll actually cancel this. But what I really want to do is create a unique image. So I'm going to add some text here. And I can go and edit the text. I'm going to change this to white text. Arial black is fine. There we go. Let me uh, move this over here. And I'm going to change the size a little bit here. Oops. You can see I can. It resized it for me and it moved it. It can move it in all different ways. Oops, let me highlight this. I think I want to change the color back to black because I moved it down into the white area. All right. And now I can, again, move it around. I want to make it a little bit bigger. And I'll move it down there. There. That looks pretty good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Apply, and then I'm going to hit Save. And that should take me back out. Let's go back out all the way to my Photo Edit and image, Images Library. And what we will see here, it's not showing up. Let me refresh my screen. Here we go. We've got two images here. So we've got this image with the writing, and we've got the original image. And that's important. What I love about this is I can go back to this image, and you can see I've been messing around with uh, some of the other pictures here. It's Ralph Rivera podcasting with a little propeller hat on him. Um, you can see that what I can do here is I can go into this image later. So now if I'm recording another video, and I want to tease the video, I can go and say, hey, I'm posting a video on 
you know, Facebook marketing. And I can go and put that video, that new image out. And I've created a completely new image, even though I'm repurposing an image I already had. I hope that makes sense because that's really, that's really powerful in my opinion, is I'm taking one image and being able to create another. And I can manage this in such a way that it's not confusing. You have you could search your keywords here. You can put them in galleries. So I've got all sorts of different galleries. I would put this in. I can search on uh, my nuclear chowder galleries. When I do that, it's going to filter things down. I oh, I don't. Did I do that right? Maybe I don't have anything in that. I just made that gallery, so I don't have anything in it yet. But you get the idea. You can create this as a brand new image. Save the old image, and I can go reuse this image again and again and again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Post Manager and I'm going to go search my stock images. I'm sorry, I'm going to access my library here. And that brings up the image. And I'm going to type in my message. blog post I am writing about Nav social. There we go. And I don't have a link just yet. I'm just teasing this right now. So I'm going to post this to Twitter and it's telling me how many characters I have left. Shows me a preview of it. I check off each one that I want to post it to. I'm going to post it also to LinkedIn. Apparently I can post it to YouTube. I haven't played with this yet, so I don't know what's going to happen if I post it to YouTube. Well, I'll tell you what, let's try it out and see what happens. And that should be, make sure I got the spelling right there. Now I click on this little M. This shows all the networks I selected. So it's, that's my main. I can save this for later. I can schedule this to go out, schedule the post. But right now I'm just going to publish it. So that's it. I've posted that image over to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, apparently, and LinkedIn. And, uh, you know, in two weeks, three weeks from now, when I go back and I want to film another video, I can also go, and you can see that notification just came back that these have published successfully. You know, I can go into that original image. I can add new features to that image. You saw there's all sorts of ways to edit these images. And I go in here, it opened right right up into my photo editor. So I can, you know, I can do all sorts of stuff here. I can add frames to it. So I can take this one picture, make a brand new picture, and boom, I've got a new piece of content. It's in my digital library, all ready to go. And I'm gonna re oop, close out of this. And that's the end of this video. I'll be back in a, another video to share more stuff with you on Mav Social.